bit more space to expand in without having to change facilities. So it's the, it's basically once you figure out what you can move home and you do, then that frees up a lot of cash, but it also gives you something else. It kind of gives you a superpower because now as a virtual organization, you have superpowers that other companies don't have. You could do things that other companies can't do easily. And I, and I basically blueprint all that entire process in the book. Hmm. So the company that you were just speaking about that you helped save $41,000 a month, what are they like? We're, we're wondering like, okay, so what did, how did they save 41,000? Is that the, the mortgage, the rent, the lights, the phone bill? Like what, what is that 41,000? Okay. So it turns out, let's see, we had rent, electricity, gas, leased servers, custodial coffee service, snacks, phone lease, internet, phone service, properties and facility insurance. Uh, that, I mean, that turned out to be about $17,000 a month right there. It's all in the book, by the way. Um, and they moved that expense down from 17000 to 5000 so that right there was 12000 And then it turns out that they didn't need three people. They didn't need people to man the phones. They didn't need people to do some of the other things that a physical presence required. So they let them go. Wow, this is – I actually really, really like this. And this book, uh, for those wondering, this came out in 2015. Uh, but it's almost kind of like a prophecy because uh, so many people are working from home right now. Yep. And I believe uh, probably a large portion of them, the CEOs, the decision makers, probably got their hands on this book, especially if it's breaking it down because it only makes sense. In most cases, it's you're not trying to get rid of the employees. You're just saying, hey, send them home. It cuts down on a lot of your costs that are really unnecessary. You could put that money into something that's more profitable for to help build your business. Right. Uh, was there like a, did you have a testimony or do you have like um, somebody who took advantage of this? But I know you just mentioned the 41,000, maybe it's them, but was there anyone who really gave you that stamp of approval that you said, wow, I'm super glad that I wrote this book? Well, I mean, I don't know if the name Jay Abraham rings a bell. Does that ring a bell to you? I've heard, I, yeah, it sounds familiar. Yeah. He's one of the preeminent uh, business gurus of our time. Uh, he actually wrote the forward for my book. And so nice. Jay's stamp of approval, I mean, I, I, could, I mean, again, I don't need to, but I could read this to you. I mean, his stamp of approval of the book itself was all the endorsement I needed, but that wasn't all the endorsement I got. Have you ever heard of the show Shark Tank? Of course. Just okay, watched so, it the other night. Good. So Kevin Harrington, who's a guest who was a season uh, for three seasons, he was one of the sharks. Kevin wrote an endorsement for the book as well. Have you ever heard of Charles Schwab, the investment company? Absolutely. The CEO of Charles Schwab, Mark Thompson, wrote an endorsement of this as well. Have you ever heard of Lucent Technologies, a division of Bell Labs? Absolutely. Okay. The CEO of Lucent Technologies, Rick Miller, wrote an endorsement for this book as well. I could kind of go on and on. If you go on Amazon, there's, I don't know, several dozen five-star reviews. I mean... How does that make you? How does that make you feel? I mean, do you look because your your life is very crazy? Well, I won't say well. With all due respect, it's crazy. You go from a junkie to the Tony Robbins. You lose a lot of important people in your life. Yes, right? lost a lot of important people in your life, and now you're helping companies. Not even just yourself, because the book is how much is the book? The book is less than let's say thirty bucks, and yes. you help. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, you're helping people save $41,000 a month. Do you ever look back on your life? Like how big of a deal was this becoming an Amazon bestseller? How big of a deal was it to hear all these uh, CEOs finding so much value in your book and they're changing the course and the direction of their business? I mean, it's, it's uh, it's a question that is, I mean, hard to answer and easy to answer at the same time. It feels amazing. I mean, it, it feels great. It feels like I've been um, endorsed. It feels like I have been acknowledged by others. And, you know, there's still a little bit of that doubt that we all have, and I have it too sometimes. You know, am I doing the right thing? And the other question I ask myself a lot is, am I helping enough people? And 
and that's where I look first. So my, my, first, my first line of vision always starts with who can I help and how can I help them? And I could help one person or two people, but how do I help a hundred people or a thousand people or possibly even 10,000 people? How do I do that? And so that's the way I structure the way I think about my life these days. Okay. So you, always, you from time to time, ask yourself, are you helping enough people? Yes. Okay, so, all right, you have the Invisible Organization uh, book, but it, it, is that leading to the fact that you didn't feel that, there, or you feel like there's more people you can actually bring value to, there's more people you can help, is that why we have this resultsbreakthrough.com? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what, what, is, what is the resultsbreakthrough.com giving to the people that the Invisible Organization did? Okay, so clearly you remember my story about what I experienced in high school as a drug addict. Of course, and how you joined the band because you couldn't get any girls and you thought that would be a nice way to get some, yes. Okay, well, you know what? I was a troubled teen. I was a very troubled teen. And I was, uh, basically, I came from a broken home. I mean, like many of us. And I had the realization about a year ago that I think I have a way of helping other troubled teens get out of that situation. But then I said, well, you know what? I have a way to help entrepreneurs as well get their lives together and become successful. And so I'll tell you a little bit about how the whole idea came to me and how this whole thing started. One of the biggest problems that we all have as entrepreneurs, particularly if we're not running big, successful businesses, is that we are always searching for something great. We're always searching for the thing that will ignite our passion or capture our abilities and allow us to channel our, our skills in the right direction. And these days, what we're presented with are a lot of training programs and courses, we see these launches all the time that you can get $15,000 worth of bonuses if you buy now and it's only $2,000 or one ninety nine a month for the rest of your life and all this kind of stuff. And, and people like me back then, I would buy these programs. I, I'm embarrassed to say how many I bought, but I bought <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and, and I buy these programs and I'd have a lot of hope and a lot of dreams about what I'm going to do once I complete the program and have the skills that I paid for, but I don't complete it. And I get a little lost and I get a little busy and I get a little bit distracted. So I searched in my inventory of experience and I had remembered that the times in my life I was the most successful is when I had an accountability partner, someone who I could talk to every week who could keep me focused and keep me accountable. So I started to look for an accountability partner and I, I actually couldn't find one at first because I kind of knew who I knew. I mean, I didn't know people I didn't know. I mean, I just knew who I knew. And eventually I did tap into someone and said, look, why don't we do this for each other? I think it will help us both be more successful. So we did. And it turns out that she's an amazing accountability partner. But then I realized that a lot of people could use this idea too. So I started looking for ways for other people to find accountability partners, and there were none that I liked. So I decided to invent my own. And I hired an interface designer out of London, and I hired a development team out of India, and I built the specification, and I created a software platform, as I said earlier, is like Match.com for entrepreneurs. So not only do you get to match up with somebody who, just like you, wants to complete a training program or grow their business or grow their life or stay on a diet or stick to their exercise program, whatever it is you want out of your life, you can accomplish it with the help of another. So there's a, there's a, a great story that I use in my webinar about a man who's about to die and go to heaven. So he, he stops into the local church and speaks to the pastor and says, I got to know what is it like in heaven? And he says, well, you know, I, I got to tell you, um, in my mind and the way I visioned it is that if you died and you went to hell, you'd enter this big room filled with a banquet of food, but people laying around and starving because the only way to eat the food is if you use chopsticks. 
And the man said, well, what's wrong with using chopsticks to eat the food? He says, because the chopsticks are 10 feet long. He said, but then when I went to heaven, I saw the same banquet of food, but everyone is happy and there's music and people are well fed and enjoying all that beautiful food. So he said, well, what's the difference between heaven and hell? And he said, well, in heaven, we feed each other. And to me, that was a beautiful story that illustrated what I have decided to create, a place where we can feed each other, a place where we could help each other to succeed. So my system is designed to structure one-on-one live phone calls so that you stay within the guardrails of the specified goals and objectives that you set for yourself. Now, here's the part that I haven't gotten to yet. Everybody who signs up to, to the resultsbreakthrough.com system gets a chance, if they want to, to click a little box on their profile that says, I want to be a 10-minute mentor. Now, what is a 10-minute mentor? A 10-minute mentor is if you volunteer, we will set you up to have a one-on-one conversation with an inner city high school kid, and you could choose to do it once a month for 10 to 20 minutes a month. And that one meeting once a month could save a life. And so my belief and my goal is that if I could facilitate a hundred of these meetings a month, a thousand of these meetings a month, maybe I could prevent somebody from going through what I did, the, 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 the trials and, and tribulations, if you will, of drug addiction. Now, I was lucky. I lived. I lived to grow up and become a successful person. But I'm in a anomaly. Mm. I am not like others. And a lot of people who go through this don't live and don't grow up and die. And I figured if I could find a way to help just a few more of these people, then it would all be worth it. And that's why I created the Results Breakthrough Network. Hmm. Man, that's really good. So so let me just get, just for clarity, how match.com, I've never used it, but I understand the concept of it. How specific does results breakthrough go? Like, let's say if I'm a school teacher, right? Am I able to connect with another? Like, is it going to help me find another school teacher? Sure. Yep. So it's even vision based. I mean, it, it's 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 profession based. It is interest based. I mean, you could find people specifying almost anything you want. That's brilliant. That's we have a, a list inside the software. Uh, that will, I mean, and the list, by the way, is we, the list grows every day of all the different professions and business types that we, that we have or offer. We also have another section of the software so that let's say that you created a training program and let's say that you wanted to offer accountability along with your training program. And you said, Mitch, can you work with me to create, you know, your system for my program? And I would say, sure, give me the top questions that you would want to guide people with over the course of the time that they're taking your program. And I would just take your list and I would drop it right into the resultsbreakthrough.com system. And you would be able to sign people up and they would be able to click on your name or on your program and have all of their guidance preset. So every week when they go into their accountability session, you as the owner of the course or program has basically set up exactly how they need to go through this to become successful. Is this your proudest uh, creation? So far, yes. Well, my, my true proudest creation is my daughter, but yes. Okay. Because I'm, I'm thinking the invisible organization that it kind of, in a sense, it kind of, it's for a specific market. Yep. But with this results breakthrough.com, I mean, I see anybody from the culture to the arts to uh, like we're talking about teachers to everybody needs some type of accountability. Yep. And then when you add on, so I think that's more open to everybody should at least uh, take a shot. Yeah. I I totally agree with you. And for like, if you, if you, if you wanted to sign up, I mean, it's like long-term, it's like 30 bucks a month or something. It's really cheap, but the benefits are priceless. Oh yeah. What's the difference between mentorship and coaching? Well, to me, coaching is something that you purchase to accelerate something that you're doing that you want to do faster or better. So if I want, like, I'll give you an example. When I learned to become an options trader, uh, 
I had the knowledge, I studied the books, and I knew how to trade options. But it wasn't until I hired 